Welcome to RK Tutorials Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Temeshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 3.3 and problem number 3.36. Using the result of problem 3.31 and an elemental area DA as shown in figure, locate the centroid C of the area of the sec circular sector OAB by integration. That means our interest is to find the centroid for this circular sector. Now for that, let us consider a small strip. The small strip is already indicated here. Consider a small circular strip at a distance of rho from the center and let the width of the strip is d rho. The x centroid of this small strip xg is equal to 2 rho by alpha into sin alpha by 2. For that, you can refer this problem 3.31. The link will be given in the description. So, the x centroid of this small strip xg is equal to 2 rho by alpha to sin alpha by 2. And the area of this small strip, this is a sector. So, for this sector, the width is equal to d rho and the length is equal to rho into the total angle that is alpha. So, rho alpha into d rho because it is a sector as all of you know the basic fundamentals for the sector let the angle is theta and the length of this is L is equal to let r is the radius that L is equal to r theta. Now, if I consider this a small strip the width is equal to d rho and the length is equal to by using this formula radius is rho and angle is alpha, so rho alpha into width is equal to d rho. Now, the x coordinate for the centroid of this total area is integral x d dA by integral dA, that is equal to integral 2 rho by alpha sin alpha by 2 rho alpha into d rho. Now, here the integrand is rho, we need to integrate with respect to this rho, and the rho is varying from 0 to r. 0 to r. Hence, integral x g dA is equal to, I can take the constant words 2 sin alpha by 2, I can take outside, so 2 into sin alpha by 2, integral, the rho limits are just now we discussed it is 0 to r, so 0 to r, so rho square into d rho. Here alpha and alpha gets cancelled. So, by performing the integration, 2 into sin alpha by 2 is constant and rho square integration rho cube by 3 and the limits are varying from 0 to r. Now, after simplification, you will get integral x g dA is equal to 2 by 3 r cube sin alpha by 2. Next, we will try to calculate integral dA. Integral dA is equal to integral rho alpha into d rho and integrand is d rho. Limits are varying from 0 to r. Hence, integral dA is equal to integral 0 to r rho alpha into d rho. So, I can take alpha outside because it is constant. Then I will get integral rho d rho and the integral rho d rho is nothing but rho square by 2. Limits are varying from 0 to r and after simplification you will get alpha into r square by 2. Hence, the x coordinate of the centroid for the given area xc is equal to integral x g dA I calculated as 2 by 3 r cube into sin alpha by 2 and integral dA, we calculated this one as alpha into r square by 2. So, this you can simplify. That is 2 by 3 r cube sin alpha by 2. Denominator will be reversed now. So, it is 2 by r square into alpha. So, it becomes 2 into 2, 4, 4 by 3 r square and r gets cancelled. So, you will get 4 r by 3 alpha into sin alpha by 2. So, this is the answer for the x coordinate of the centroid for the given area O, A, B. Same is the case with y coordinate. Now, the y centroid for the small strip is 0. That For that, you can refer the problem number 3.31. The link will be given in the description. And integral yg dA by integral dA, which is nothing but yc is equal to 0. This is the answer 